Health alerts related to the hot weather have uh, come into effect across England today, with temperatures in some areas forecast to reach 35 Celsius from Thursday. In central and southern England, an amber level 3 alert has been issued until Sunday, one step down from the heatwave last month when temperatures in parts exceeded 40 degrees Celsius for the first time. Now, Thames Water has become the latest water firm to announce plans for a hosepipe ban in the coming weeks. And the cause of all this? Well, the hot air over Britain is being drawn up from southern Europe. And in France, there are warnings that the country is facing its worst drought on record. And uh, the weather in the news, Thomas, in a big way, not, not in a good way. No, no. Um, the, the extreme heat warning that has just been issued from the Met Office, uh, you know, it's there to sort of make us think a little bit how the heat's going to affect us over the coming days and its value between Thursday and Sunday. Clearly, the heat affects the, the vulnerable. That's pretty obvious to some of us but also you might be jumping on the train and traveling across the country and quite often these sorts of temperatures the mid 30s can affect the network there are delays we saw that last time I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen this time but it just makes us prepared for that eventuality something you might want to factor in and of course fire related incidents are also that much higher as well when you get the dizzy heights and then from Thursday that's when the real hot weather arrives and this time it's going to be traveling from the near continent from the east carried on a gentle breeze which will push the heat towards parts of Wales and the southwest of England as well. So this is when that extreme heat starts. And 35, you know, you might think, oh, well, it's a hot day, but this is very high for our neck of the woods. And again, another very hot day on Friday, and that heat will continue into Saturday and Sunday as well. So we're getting multiple days of that really, really hot weather. And how hot is it going to get? Well, not the dizzy heights of 40 degrees we're not anticipating this time, but 36 is certainly hot enough. So here's that outlook for the rest of the week and into the weekend. This remains unchanged from yesterday. If you're watching yesterday's forecast, that sustained period of the mid 30s. So that extreme heat warning indicates this is what these temperatures of around the mid 30s can do. It can affect us in various adverse ways. Is there going to be a breakdown? Yes, of course there is, um, eventually. And the thinking is that probably Saturday into Sunday we'll see storms developing across France, perhaps drifting to southern parts of the UK. And of course, rainfall is what we need, but it is likely to be very hit or miss, so not everybody's going to get it. But fresher air eventually will arrive from the Atlantic, but this is not anticipated properly until around Monday. But again, no real widespread prolonged rain expected, just these hit and miss downpours. And of course, with the hard ground, it's likely to run off and potentially cause flash flooding in places. Hello, good afternoon. A heat wave across the capital is defined by the Met Office as happening when we see three consecutive days with temperatures over 28 degrees Celsius. That's certainly going to happen this week. Yesterday we saw 29 Celsius in a few spots. Temperatures will be rising slightly today and then they'll climb day on day until we get to the end of the working week, Friday, Saturday, when they could be as high as 35 or maybe even 36 degrees Celsius somewhere out towards the west of the capital. Not the exceptional heat. The rest record-breaking heat that we saw earlier on in July, but still very uncomfortable for many and a rather serious situation too. The Met Office has issued an amber weather warning for extreme heat. That's the second highest level of alert and that's valid from Thursday right through until the end of the day on Sunday. Olivia Newton-John. Sally, I can never square that she's the same person in that 1980s physical video, do you remember, in the leotard. <laughs> but she was, she was so varied, she was brilliant. That video is outrageously funny, I loved it. it it's electric, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? I've been singing that song all day, Duncan. Hopeless, lean and fun. <laughs> and you know I'm devoted to you. You can carry a tune, can't you? I will carry it on around <laughs> the building. Sorry, everyone, there's a warning over there. Uh, anyway, weather, how's it yes. all looking? Still awful? Oh, it's terrible now I've given up well, well but you, done told, for you told up. me yeah. to you told me that's to. the right thing it will recover yeah I mean, you've got a good don't waste water on no. the wall is anyway there? we have got a heat warning place here's all the details Hello again, a very good evening to you. I hope you had a lovely day. What a start across the capital. Some gorgeous red skies and of course then turning blue. And that's the story for this week. Loads of sunshine around. If you're looking for something a little bit fresher, you'll probably find it by the coast. The further east you are, inland, very warm temperatures that will continue to climb this week and dry. Still no sign of any rain in the next few days. And we've now got from Thursday through to Sunday an amber extreme heat warning in place. So that heat possibly 
affecting people's health and there's some safety risks as well such as fire risks so we'll keep you posted uh, on all of that now for that all important outlook look at that plenty of sunshine heading our way very settled weather with high pressure in charge the temperatures continuing to climb by day and by night gosh look at that that is your full forecast for now well, Hugh, it's been another day today with temperatures over 30 degrees and they're only going to be building through the course of the week. It's going to get hotter and hotter over the next few days. So this scene, pretty similar to many of us, conditions on the ground looking pretty dry and strong sunshine overhead. So this is Nowsall in Staffordshire and there's really not going to be much change in the weather over the next five days or so. We've all crossing to Alex now back at Buell Water Reservoir in Kent and Alex, the ground behind you is looking rather dry, isn't it? What more can you tell us? Yeah, that's right, Lucrezia. I mean, it still looks pretty serene here uh, to my left and it was a hive of activity earlier today, plenty of water sports. But one thing that hasn't changed is the ground. I mean, you can see how heavily cracked it is uh, at my feet here. And normally I would be fully submerged in water. But if we take a look at the body of water from the sky, it is shrinking from being reduced in volume. In fact, it has lost 40 lost 15 percent well that would really spell trouble uh, earlier today i caught up with operations manager kevin parker uh, kevin this is it's pretty stark here isn't it i mean looking at the ground you'd never know that there was any water running over it at one point in time it's, it's completely dry it's all broken up and i understand that you put these posts in not that long ago yeah. and where was the water level then? No, it's about two meters, uh, two feet up. We put these in two weeks ago. I mean, that's that's incredible. Yeah. So that's how much water we've lost. I mean, in normal circumstances, to just describe, you know, what this area would look like where where we are. We, I, I, we'd be underwater. We or? would be underwater right, as we're standing Literally. here. Yeah, underwater. Well, as you can imagine, they are praying for all to hear at Buell Reservoir. Uh, are we going to get any rain? Well, I'm afraid with this heat wave now fully kicking in, it's going to be pretty dry across much of the UK as we head through. Well, I was talking about it a little earlier in the program, this extreme heat warning that was issued by the Met Office earlier today. Uh, and we can actually take a look at that warning area now. It covers much of England and Wales. And in this area, we could see temperatures of around 30 to 35, maybe 36 degrees Celsius. And that's why that heat warning has been uh, issued. If we take a look at the situation for uh, this evening, well, it stays very quiet. Well, that's it. Uh, from Bjor Water. Of course, we will keep you updated if those extreme warnings do change. All right, Alex, uh, from Bjor. Thank you. Uh, Sarah, hot day today, but I understand it's getting even hotter this week. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Those temperatures are building day on day. It is going to be hot. We're going to see temperatures above 30 degrees for at least around five or six days. So, yes, today has been another hot day out there. We've had strong sunshine overhead and, of course, very dry ground as well. So lots of us seeing scenes like this. It looks a little bit more like the Kalahari Desert, doesn't it, than Enfield Town. But over the next few days, as that heat builds, we could see a little bit of disruption. We do have that amber extreme weather warning for extreme heat from Thursday until Sunday. Moving through then into Friday and then on to the weekend, you can see high pressure really not budging, just drifting a bit further towards the east, drawing in a bit more of a warm easterly wind. So the outlook then, those temperatures really building over the next few days, some very hot disruptive weather on the way. We are hopeful that we could start to see something cooler and more showery into next week. Assad. Thames Water has announced it's planning to introduce a hosepipe ban. It'll affect about 15 million people and the company says we can expect it in the coming weeks. It comes as the Met Office issues an amber extreme heat warning for later this week. Well, that's it. But as the hot weather continues, you can hear from Matt Taylor from the BBC Weather Centre explaining heat waves and what defines them and a bit about their history. That video is on the BBC website at the usual address. Just head to the weather page and you can see it. Have a very good evening for now.